Today's Father's Day. What a um, great day. I have to be honest, the older I get, the more I turn into my dad, and I'm a little bit like, it's just another day. But anyway, uh, like it's, it's really been awesome to, um, to become parents. And I was just thinking last night as we were just, we took our kids to this fancy dinner and we told them they had to use their best manners, you know, and stuff. And it was a great time. But, you know, you have all these opinions and ideas when you're growing up. And even when you have good parents, and I was raised in a really healthy environment and stuff, you can still find things to complain about, right? And you still have your issues and you still have all these things. But then you become a parent <laughs> and you go, oh, well, one, you go, oh, I did not have them fooled like I thought I had them fooled. And two, I really complained about things that really don't matter. And also, it's just like, you know, how many times I bawled my parents out and chewed them out and yelled at them. And, you know, now when we're kind of dealing with some of that with our kids that are unhappy with us and you're just looking at them, listening to them and listening to their long list of complaints of what you do and you go, man, and I just still love you. You're just, still, you're just still the coolest thing I've ever done, and I'm so glad that you're here on this earth. And, you know, if we as humans can have that attitude, and I know not everybody has that outlook, and I know not everybody has that experience with the Father, but if we as humans can look at our kids and go, dang, I still love you. You're still the coolest thing I've ever done. Even though you're being so rotten and so mean right now, how much more? does our Heavenly Father. And I was just kind of had this cool picture of where it's like, how many times have we shaken our fists at God and complained to God or blamed God? And he's just, you know, I, in, in my human frailty, I think he'd be like, oh, I'm so worn out by this. And no, he still has a smile on his face going, you can be as mad at me as you want, but I love you. And I still believe in you. And I still have a future for you. I still have good intentions for you. That's pretty remarkable to think about and to have that picture. And so if you didn't get to grow up with a dad that had any sort of healthy picture for you, when you see our Heavenly Father, I hope that you can see that, that he looks at you even in our frailty, even in our mistakes, even in our anger, even when we're totally blaming everything that's going on on him, that he still looks at you and says, I love you and I wouldn't change a thing. You're just... You're just so cool. I'm just so glad you're here on this earth. And so um, I hope that we can all kind of change our perspective with one another and with our kids, with our parents. It's, you know, life is, it's brutal out here sometimes, but oftentimes we just kind of get caught up in our emotions of it and forget just how good our father is. And we're going to sing that song here in a second. But if you guys just stand with me. And uh, we have lots of things to pray for. We have lots of things to be thankful for. I'm going to trust you guys to do that. But Pastor John is headed out tomorrow, and so we're going to be believing for a safe trip, a smooth trip. Man, if you have traveled at all recently, you know it's not as uh, luxurious as it once was. It's not glamorous anymore. But um, And just also that he just has I mean, a great time of sowing seeds into people's lives. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the good, good Father, and you have been amazing to us. And even when we shake our fists in anger, and even when we blame you, and even when we think the world is falling apart because of you, you just look at us and go, that's okay. You can shake your fist. You can be angry. I love you no matter what. And Lord, I just pray for those who maybe don't have the best earthly example of a father. I pray that today they still just feel totally encompassed and loved by you. And Lord, we appreciate the fathers in our lives and the good fathers in our lives and the ones that are seeking after you. And we just celebrate them today and bless them today. We bless um, all the workers who came through here this week from young to old. Man, I was just, it was so awesome to see kids who have grown up in this church and they are now helping. Like, it just blessed my heart, Lord. And we just thank you for them. And we thank you for Pastor John as he heads out this week. Lord, angels be about him. Smooth travels and great times of fellowship. In your name I pray. Amen. <laughs>